Hi everyone and welcome back. So today's video is a slightly different one but I'm so so excited to do it. So I'm going to be doing a get ready with my teenage self. So I've decided to go with the age of 15 because that's when I started like getting a bit more into makeup. Before that I kind of just used like a powder or like um, a tinted moisturiser, I didn't really do very much. And I am going to try and insert some pictures of me as well so you can see really what I look like. So this is going to be my like going out look. This is what I would do, like I know for a fact I wore this makeup to my first date. Fun fact, I actually ended up with the same boy years and years later um, and he likes to remind me of the makeup I wore and he actually thinks it was lovely and I'm like, wasn't lovely but that's boys for you. So I've just popped my hair up and I'm going to start by taking my makeup off with some simple wipes because it was all about makeup wipes back then. I don't use them now, um, but I did back then. I would always start off with a bit of moisturiser um, this is just the simple kind to skin hydrating light moisturizer and I've actually borrowed this from Coco because um, she uses this now which is so cute. I haven't used it in years so I don't know if it's any good but it feels really nice actually. I used to just go straight in with foundation, no primer, I didn't even know what primer was um, and I just want to point out like we didn't have what you have, we didn't have like really accessible makeup tutorials on YouTube like telling us what we should and shouldn't be doing. We didn't have Instagram or anything like that so it was literally just like, we just, I guess we just made it up on the spot what we thought looked nice. This was my absolute every single time foundation. No I did not use a brush. This is so gross but yeah I didn't really know that you were supposed to put foundation on with a brush. So I used to just put this straight into my fingers, rub it together, oh my god, and just smooth it on like a moisturiser. I don't want to do this, I don't want to do it, I really don't. Everything in my mind is like telling me that I should not be doing this, but here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> do you know what? It feels really nice actually. It's really satiny. Oh, by the way, I don't think I actually told you what it was. It's the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. This is the one that I would always use. And then I would always literally have foundation fingers. But to be honest, I don't think that I even like cleaned it off. I think I just went with it and got foundation like everywhere. I remember there was always foundation on my light switch. But I'm going to take it off now because seriously, horrid. So then sometimes I would use concealer to cover up like purple circles or any spots. Um, and I used to use a little... Um, stick of concealer and I got this one and um, this is the natural collection one this is the one that looked most familiar I definitely used to use it in a cream stick like this and it makes sense that I would have bought this because it's literally like two pounds so I would put this like here under my eyes um, and then I would put it on like any little spots or blemishes which I have a big one there gosh it really is like being 15 and then yeah I would just get this with my fingers as well Mm. I don't know about this concealer, it's not very good. I always used to use the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Oh, that smells so familiar, that literally smells like being a teenager to me. I would literally get like a big brush like this. This is a Rosie Huntington Whiteley brush, but this is not the brushes that I would use. I don't know where I got my makeup brushes from. I think I would just like steal my mum's old ones or something because I did not know what I was doing with brushes at all. I really don't want to do it. I don't want to do it to myself. I would just put it across my cheek. This is what everyone did. Almost like blush. It was not contouring at all. Contouring was not a thing. We had never heard of that word. I'm just going to go for it and I really don't want to but here goes. I just basically wanted it all over my face to make me look more tan so I'd put it like basically all over my forehead. Um, and then on my cheeks as well. Not the hollows of my cheeks, my cheeks. <gasps> oh, I'm making myself feel ill. So that was it for the face makeup. I didn't powder. Um, I thought powder was just a different way, like a different type of coverage. So I would never use like foundation and powder. So now moving on to eyebrows, all I would do would be to brush them. I used to just have this little um, eyebrow brush 
and I would brush them and then that would be it which is awful because I don't really have that much eyebrow so why I didn't think to like pencil them in I don't know but it's just not something that we really did I don't know it was eyebrows were not a thing at all the way they are now like brows on fleek it like fleek was just not even a word so I mean, it still kind of isn't really a word <laughs> then I would go straight to mascara and seriously who were you if you didn't use Maybelline Great Lash this was like the cool thing to use like we would get this out at school and just be like yeah Maybelline <laughs> I used to be really weird about my mascara in school as well, we'd all be in like the girls toilets doing our makeup and someone would be like, oh Freddie can I use your mascara and I'd be like no that's really unhygienic and then like the next day I would change my mind and let my friend use it and I don't know why I've just remembered that but I just remember I would always say that because like I used to read um, in magazines like stuff about how like the bacteria and mascara and I just got it into my head that you shouldn't share mascara so I'd be like no. I did used to curl my eyelashes so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I was actually obsessed with curling my eyelashes and to be honest this is probably the same kind of thing that I would have used because this is from H&M and it's really cheap so I probably did use like something just like this oh my god I really like it I love it oh my god it's so pretty I've always actually liked my mascara like not too you know thick it was actually me and my friend who were like really fussy and we were like oh no you can't have spider lashes so so far i know it's not the most embarrassing makeup but i did used to do quite minimal um but it's definitely not very good i'm really wishing i could do something to my eyebrows right now so next is something that i loved to do for a party and this is the iconic thing this is the iconic look that was worn on the first date that still gets remembered and referenced to to this day in a fond way and that is Silver Glitter Eyeliner. Now I found this, this one's by Collection. Let's go for it. Oh, it's bringing back memories. And I didn't do like a good line or anything, as you can see. Still can't do a good line. All these years later, call myself a makeup YouTuber. Who would have known back then, like when I was getting ready for that date, that one day I would be recreating it on YouTube for everyone. Right, I'm just going to take some of the foundation off my lips. Oh my god, I can't where my lips are. So I never really used to wear lipstick because I just hated the way it felt on my lips. But I was obsessed with lip gloss, like anything pink with some shimmer in was just mine. This one is the Bourjois 3D Effect Volume and Shine Elixir Gloss in the shade 29. And like Bourjois always felt really expensive because obviously it's one of the more expensive brands like in boots in Superdrug so I would always feel like super when I put this on um, and I think I was 16 when I got my first MAC lip gloss like I kind of upgraded and that was like the best thing ever but before that it was all about bourgeois yep yep it's ringing all sorts of bells so there you have it this was like my perfect makeup when I was 15. I would have put this on and felt so so pretty. Okay so now for hair, um, I did actually have my hair in a messy bun like most of the time so that hasn't really changed. When I was going out I had this very specific hairstyle that was like my hairstyle. I used to straighten my hair all the time because um, obviously I've got as you can see quite like voluminous hair so I used to really like to straighten it and I do think it was about halfway through being 15 when I stopped straightening it and actually started curling it and it's so funny because the actual curlers that I used to use were these ones my Mark Hill um, curlers and I still use these now um, but I'm not going to use these today because you guys have seen me curl my hair a million times and I did use to straighten it a lot as well I used to actually curl my hair like for school and tell people that it was natural like seriously I don't think anyone believed me so I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten it these are my pink GHDs and I'm using these on behalf of my teenage self because my teenage self would have absolutely like committed serious crimes to have these alas I didn't have pink GHDs but I wanted them so badly I just always wanted my hair to be like super straight and super sleek so I would always take the front bit and I'm serious when I tell you that I was inspired by Lauren Conrad in the hills because I used to like that show so I would just twist the front bits I used to do this for school and like tie my hair in a ponytail and then I just stick a little pin 
keep that in place. I just thought Lauren Conrad was like full on goals. So yes, this was the finished hair look. Always, let me just stand up, always super sleek and straight. So now for outfits. So I have always loved pink and I've always loved being girly. So I always really liked the whole like preppy kind of Jack Wills look. So I'd always find like some really tiny denim shorts to wear. And then I'd always find like a top with a little collar on or a jumper with a little collar. And I loved wearing jumpers from like Jack Wills and Abercrombie. So still quite similar to now, but I've just like evolved. So this is the finished look. I would have been mighty proud to walk out of the door like this at 15. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with my teenage self. If you did, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Have an amazing week and as always, I shall see you next Monday in my video. Bye!